All right, we are ready for the last picks and bands of this series. <laughs> MSU round ball, go sports. So let's see what we see this time around. Uh, early ban on brand already. As is expected from uh, FSU. And then the Kled ban again. I'm guessing we're going to see a lot of the same bands. Maybe uh, a York ban this time. Sure. <laughs> no more experimenting. It's one to one. We want to win. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. At this point, it's it's all about the win now. So it's, I think uh, I think they both kind of got a good idea of of who they absolutely need to lock out and who they don't have to worry about. There's the Lissandra ban. They did not enjoy playing and playing against that uh, last match. So Mary states is no thanks. Let's get rid of that. The Jarvan ban again, then keeping him out. It's your fuel. Hey, the Yorick ban, of course. That was that was pretty expected too. <laughs> Nunu makes it in this time instead of being banned out. This could change things up once again for Murray State. Do we see the air god again, or is KG111 holding something in his back pocket? It's his main. He's he's feeling the air god. If they're not going to ban it, he's going to take it. So, hey, it's a good pick. It it's is a, a strong good pick. champion to know to be able to play. Ivern coming in from Murray State University, it looks like. Uh, an interesting jungler, uh, to say the least. He doesn't really kill the jungle camps. He sort of lulls them into agreement or something. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's a rather interesting champ when he came out. Uh, pretty popular in the beginning. You don't see him too much right now, but uh, it's good to see him here. I'm completely surprised by the pick. Morgana making it back in for the support on FSU. And there's the Kale. We expected that pick multiple times, and now it actually gets to, to be made for FSU. Soraka making it back in for the Mary State team. Good support for the first yeah. match. Yeah, and I believe Lord Maids chose him, or chose her, Soraka. He'll probably trade to the bottom lane. I think he wants to see who comes mid against him, because I don't believe Kale's going to go mid, but... The warrior spirit is never broken. Xin Zhao Ban, he will not be seeing play today at all. <laughs> And the vein ban again. Murray State's last ban is going to go to Ezreal. Safe ban. Trying to make sure they lock out an ADC choice. Yeah, I I think that Murray State now thinks that Kale is going to go mid, hence the Ezreal ban. Ah. So and quite the mind against. game being played between <laughs> the two teams here. It's the game before the game, and if you're not fluent in League of Legends, a lot of this doesn't make sense. Um, picks and bans really dictate kind of the flow of, of your team's energy for the entire matchup, and if 
if your synergy requires one specific character and you don't get them, it, it could really affect the entire play. Higher level players usually have a much wider champion pool that they feel comfortable kind of rotating in and out of so that that synergy doesn't get broken too easy by one single ban. But uh, I would say at this level of play, it, it could happen where a one ban could completely rock the entire matchup. There's the Nami support coming out for FSU. Good pick yeah. there. And as I expected, here's Mal Zahar. He will trade with Lord Mage, and Raka will be at bottom. That Nami Twitch combo, I see a lot of uh, a lot of uh, potential with with her CC and his ability to just poison everything to death. They could lock down that bottom lane pretty easily if they're if Murray State's not careful. <laughs> Yeah, some interesting team comps by both teams. Um, I'm not a fan of either comp. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and say that. Um, I like the ones that are kind of easy to play, easy to initiate with. Uh, it's an obvious green light of when the whole team should jump in. And that usually comes with dive comps. Uh, that's just my style of play. But Absolutely. So we've got Ergot, Ivern, Malzahar, and Jinx, and Soraka from Murray State University versus Kale, Nunu, Morgana, Twitch, and Nami for FSU. It looks like Kale's going to go top lane and Nunu's going to be the jungle. Uh, I kind of expected a Nunu top, but that's pretty cool too. This should be an interesting fight, and we will be back with it momentarily.
All right, and here we are for all the marbles. Match three between Murray State University and Florida State University. Then League of Legends for the exhibition NCAA Super Funsies best of three series. So we're tied up one and one here. Somebody's got to, to, to make the final move. It, this is for all the marbles, for all the non-existent for fun marbles that you collect when you do fun marbles. 30 seconds until minions spawn. Oh, thank you for the, the compliments on the overlay. I actually got it from somebody that does this stuff for a living because I am not an artist. And this is pretty much for fun. Oh, we've already got a little early fight here. Morgana after Ivern and Jinx is going after the Nami in the bot lane. And everybody backs up a little bit. Minions have spawned. Early wards have been placed in the river and different jungle bushes. Very nice. get started. Malzahar and, and Morgana are battling it out in the mid lane. Malzahar, not somebody I see played very often. I like Malzahar. I think he's a great champ. A um, lot of damage. Damage over time. Some nice CC. Stun with the old silence. AOE silence at that. With his Q. Um, so can you know, disrupt an entire team fight just with his Q. Yeah, he'll definitely be important in the team fight. And it looks like we've got a little bit of battle going on in the bottom of the top lanes. Uh, Jinx and Soraka are poking at Nami, and Twitch is, is giving it back just as much as he's getting at this point. Stun on, on Soraka lets him put a little bit of damage on Jinx. Jinx is going hard on the Nami. And now she's got to flash out. Great jobs by both supports. A little bit, a little bit of supportal combat down there. They were just <laughs> duking it out. Jinx and is going to stick around. Dive on the Jinx and she is gone. First blood goes to Florida State. Yeah, you got to think that Murray State has to go back there and, um, you know, get your HP back. Everyone wants to stick around and not get behind on the CS, but sometimes you just have to. Yeah, sometimes you've got to give it up. You've got to, you've got to lose a few minions so you don't lose your life. Because now they're going to miss even more CS. Argot keeping, uh, keeping Kale under a little bit of a lockdown here in the top lane, at least for right now. But here comes a new new gank on Argot. They knock Great him airborne. They get the stun. He tries to like get out of the way. Keep him around. Oh, he's getting locked down. They're putting on the damage pretty hard, but I think he's going to make it back to tower. They're still going to dive him and get him. Hale takes the first kill in the top lane, so FSU is up two to nothing. Yeah, the red buff with Nunu is what did that for FSU. It applied the stun after her guy had dove away, and the damage over time from it melted him as he continued to retreat. But the initiation with the snowball was huge. Rolled that thing all the way from Baron. Yeah, he moved it, moved it right on up there. A good, good, just snowball control. I see a lot of people try to do those long snowballs, and they end up misclicking and taking it right into a wall. Bottom lane back in, throwing a little poke on Twitch. Malzahar keeping things pretty pretty consistent in the mid lane. Morgana's not not losing too much ground though, and the Murray State bot lane's pushing real hard here. But Nunu's coming in for another gank. Locks down the Soraka. They're gonna poke at her. 
Jinx tries to turn around to put the damage on Nami, but Twitch is there, and Nunu, who hasn't taken any damage yet, really, is just going to keep auto-attacking. They take down the Jinx, and wow! They get yeah. out. And then Nunu takes out the, the Soraka. Great play by FSU there. It looks like they're going in for a dive on uh, Kale here, Urgot, and, and Ivern have the position good. Kale's going to have to take the long way out, and they can just keep chasing. It looks like they're going to get her, but it's going to take a lot of time. That was quite the investment. Uh, coming out of Murray State University to get that kill because they just didn't have the bow's potential, but they did get it. Uh, so now it's it's not a shutout. It's a four to one right now in favor of Florida State, and it looks like Florida is going to go ahead and get that first dragon. Florida seems to be is. really on point with the timing of everything in this game. Absolutely, Ivan's coming in. Looks like you're trying to get a gank there, and just not enough. The Morgana was in a good position to to just walk away from that. We've already got almost a 2,000 gold lead for Florida State. Sure, and I think a lot of the credit has to be put to Nunu, the jungle by Florida State. Mm -hmm. um, his timing in each lane seems to be, as I said before, on point. That snowball initiation for the ganks. They knew when Dragon was coming up, he was there to smite it. All yeah, of that, that. Um, helps with the big gold lead. It really does. The the FSU jungle is a, is seems to be a very very strong player for them. Uh, everyone else doing a great job, but he's there to help instigate these fights. They're they're making sure they know when he's coming. They're waiting for him. They're not starting too early a lot of times. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, if the mid lane's already starting to get something set up with Nunu here soon, while he's over there in uh, in his jungle, kind of waiting back. It looks like Ivern's gonna come in to help out help out Malzahar on this Morgana. They go in, he gets the silence. He's still poking away, but she's slowly, slowly, we get her. Good kill by Mary Stank. Yeah, I'm not for sure what Morgana was thinking. I think I felt like Malzahar had that under control even without Ivern there. Yeah, but uh, at the same time, the they weren't really able to gap close, so it took a little time. Here we go. We've got another gang coming in from the FSU jungle. Another big snowball. Boom. Hits the Urgot. Locks him down. He's stunned. He's rocked. He's socked. And he is good. Another good kill for FSU. While Murray State in the bottom lane is really just trying to keep the FSU bottom lane from pushing too far. And now they're going to lose a lot of hits on that tower. They've got good waves coming in for FSU on that top tower, so they don't have to back away and wait. More lockdown on Jinx. More poison on Jinx. Spread over to Sorak and a few minions. Like I said, that Nami CC and the Twitch combo is a really good mix there for, for being able to slow these characters down. Because with Soraka, you've got a lot of movement speed. You know, if you can just stop them from moving and throw those the, the poison out, you've got a pretty good chance of getting a good double kill. Ivern's coming in to help gank the bot lane from Murray State University. They lock down the Twitch. Get him with the rocket. Shut down. Count it with Ivern. And now uh, Murray State's putting in some wards. They say, we're not done yet. And now it's just Nami versus Jinx in the bot lane. Whoa. We've got a good gank going on in the mid lane. Malzahar's pretty deep under his own tower, so it shouldn't be too big a deal. But Nunu definitely went for it. Yeah, now he caught gonna... a snowball. He did. He caught a snowball pretty good. They locked him down. Murray State getting some hits on the bottom tower. Um, while Twitch is on his way back. I see a lot of uh, good ARAM players with Malzahar. He really has strong lane control. And like you said, with a, with a, a group AoE or, or an AoE silence, it's, it's a pretty big deal in the teamfight scenarios like that. 
Yeah, he's definitely a strong champ A Ram, but you know, that's A Ram, so there's not a whole <laughs> lot of room room to maneuver, so anybody with an AoE is gonna be strong. Argot going a little deep against Gale. Hopefully he knows where the uh, enemy jungler is this time and feels confident doing that. You'll notice the Murray State bot lane is pulled back. It looks like their vision may be paying off some dividends here. They knew the Nunu was around, and so they didn't didn't go any crazy. Yeah, they've seen enough snowballs this match already. I'm <laughs> sure Murray State's going to be glad summer's coming up and not winter. A little bit more of a fight in the top lane. The bottom lane, they feel a little bit more confident moving forward again, knowing that the Nunu's not hanging around. Uh, so they're going to push their lane up a little bit more. And we've got pings in the river. It looks like they may be going after a Rift Herald or at least putting Vision down. Malzahar is taking notice of the Morgana not being around and is going for some tower attacks here. He'll get a little tower damage on there, which is great. Jinx coming in. It looks like Murray State might be trying to bait FSU out a little bit, but no, Ivern double backs up. This has probably been the slowest point in this three game series so far. There's still fighting going on, but it's not been committed fights. No one wants to give up a kill as easily as they did the first two games for, for good reason. There's a dragon available in the pit and Ivern is going for it. At least putting in some bushes, making sure that FSU doesn't just take it. We may have a fight going on here in the dragon pit. Murray State's there, but here comes Malzahar. Murray but FSU State's knows. Too long to take it. Yep, they stop the snowball. And they get the dragon. They get that first dragon. Nunu was definitely going to come in for the for the gang. Yeah, I was, I was scared there for a little bit from Murray State. <laughs> Murray State handles that expertly. They they take the dragon and they don't cause a fight that they causes them to lose anybody. I have a feeling everyone's playing a lot more passively this game because everyone wants to win a little bit more. When it's one and one, everything's on the line, right? There you go, cleaning up some vision. Heading back to lane. Murray State, lack of vision. Tower. Murray Gale State doesn't have his teleport. Here comes a new new ball. A big whiff there, but that's that's no big deal. I think he was just sort of trying to scare him more than anything. Yeah, Ergot's gonna go in on this tower a little bit. He goes past the tower into the jungle. I'm not sure what exactly is going on here. <laughs> well, Ivern, Ivern was in the jungle ah. with them near blue buff, so. Oh, I see, said the blind man. I got back in the top lane. Giving some some attention to Kale. While Malzahar goes in. Puts a little bit more damage on the tower. Ivern coming in on the dive with Urgot on Kale. They've got her where they want her. The problem is, there comes Nunu with a snowball kill on Urgot. No problem. And Ivern has to back away. It's... Insane. Yeah, there's that Nami stun, and now Twitch is just going to throw the poison everywhere. They're going to get the Soraka. They are more than likely going to get this Jinx if they keep pressing this attack any harder. Uh, I think they get the Nami flash out of it, but it's not going to be much else. And Nunu also got the Rift Herald, is that correct? I believe so. Wow. So, yeah. a great series of events for, for FSU here. Taking the Rift Herald, getting a quick kill on Urgot. Taking out the Soraka in the bottom lane, they're going to push the second tower more than likely. Uh, Ivern can do a lot here. Oh, Ivern stops the Rift Herald. Good job by Murray State's jungler there to, to slow that that snowball of the other type. Not the regular Nunu snowball. 
Jinx gets a lockdown on Nami, dodges the bubble, and Nami is so close to death she can taste it, but she just doesn't risk it. Does, does Jinx have an ult? Oh, she doesn't have an ult. I was hoping she'd fire it at Nami fire while rocket. she's low health. Would have got her the kill, but yeah, she just didn't have it in time. And now Nami bails out while uh, the bottom lane pushes a little bit more. Soraka works on a little bit of vision to make sure Nunu doesn't sneak up on him. Or got, got vision in the tri bush, but that's about it. <laughs> Looks like they've got Scuttle Crab in the river too, but will it be enough to keep him from. to let him see the next Nunu snowball? Time will tell. Sweepers coming out from FSU to make sure they can clear up any of those random wards. Malzahar. Coming in to try to stop Nami. Doesn't realize that Nunu was there probably. Backs out. Very nice play there by that Malzahar to get out of there. Ergot's playing deep to bait this Kale in and they get her. Kale is probably going to get eaten up this time. There it goes. Chomp, chomp. Her got with the kill on Kale. Here comes another new new snowball. He lets it go a little early. Doesn't hit anybody. Would have been hard to make that turn, I'm pretty sure. They put a little bit of hurt on Nunu and tell him to get out. Nunu's going to be rotating up to the mid lane here. He's going to try to catch Malthar out, probably. Oh. While Ergot pushes the top tower a little bit, and here comes Ivan to maybe help him out. Yeah, and we're hitting a, almost about halfway point, usually for an average game. And FSU up to 7-4 to four and up uh, by one tower. They have one top tower taken, but still not that much of a gold difference. So, pretty even game. Yeah, very even game. Ergot really wanting this tower. All while the rest of the team is going to start battling here in the river for the dragon. Murray State starts it. FSU's kind of watching out. They're probably going to go for a steal here. Nunu goes in. Jinx gets the dragon though. No steal for FSU, but they're going to get a bit of a fight. They take out the Soraka. Nunu just keeps on trudging in. Jinx is trying to get away from him, but there's, everyone's on her. They lock down the Malzahar. Malzahar is suppressing. Morgana, Morgana pops her little stopwatch. Ivan says, oh, hang on, we'll get this. And it's a three for one fight total in favor of Murray State. Jinx gets out, uh, but Soraka did not make it. And they got the dragon, so good play by Murray State University. Now they're gonna push this bottom lane. Twitch isn't around for another six seconds. Nami can only do so much. And Malzahar is free to, free to attack without Morgana around. They take the mid turret. A couple more hits here and they take the bottom turret. Great play. They're going to go ahead and probably finish off the Nami here. Because why wouldn't you? And now they'll just probably push the lane back for a minute. So Murray State's mid lane is pushing real hard. Top lane is the only one that's really suffering right now. And hopefully he can turn that around with all this uh, gold that Murray State just picked up. He wasn't around for many of those fights, though, so I don't know if that really benefits him as much. FSU getting a little uh, early scuttle crab vision in the jungle. Uh, or in the river, the Baron will be up in a little under a minute. They've rotated lanes again. As you can see, the Urgot top lane from Murray State has gone bottom, and Murray State's bottom lane is going to be pushing the top. All the while, FSU is grouped mid right now. I'm not sure if they're going to make a play on Malzahar or if they're just kind of getting their bearings. Bearings. <laughs> no, you meant to say Baron. You were, you were yeah. applying a pun. Ah, of course. That's what it was. Oh, we've got a little fight here in the jungle between Ivern and Nunu. And Nunu popped his ult. Exploded and still chasing after Ivan, but we've got another fight going on here. Kale is after Jinx and Soraka. 
And now everyone's together. Ivern, they take out Kale. Now it's four on one against Nunu, as good as this jungler is. I don't think he can handle all four. He goes down. Morgana comes in a little late to help, which is probably going to cost her her life as well. They're going to lock her down, pop her, and that's a three for none play from Murray State. And at this point, they might as well just take the Baron real quick. Urgot's keeping the bottom lane busy, and that's exactly what they're going to do. Murray State's going for this Baron. They've got the Ivern on it. They've got the Jinx on it. They've got the Siroc on it. They've got Malzahar on it. Everybody's there except Urgot. Urgot's keeping this bottom lane busy. Nothing Nami and Twitch can do other than just sort of keep him off that tower. Malzahar's rolling back to take care of the, the pushed minion wave in top to help protect that tower a little longer. I'm a little worried about how long this is going to take. Nami's actually rotating sort of in that direction. But Murray State is going to teleport out and uh, start pushing these Baron minions. Great yeah, play. Very early, very early Baron buff right here for Murray State. Um, I'd like to think that they planned all that out, but um, whether they did or not, it was great uh, positioning and opportunity to take Baron as soon as the time came up. Yeah, I think it was more the team fight worked in their favor. And so they just said, wait, we just took out four people or three people. Let's just go ahead and take Baron. Their jungler's gone. We have nothing to worry about. And Urgot's got him in the bottom lane busy. And there goes the top tower for FSU. And now, just like that, we see a uh, gold difference from Murray State, about 6K. Yeah, complete the... Uh, we're seeing the Murray State from game one again. And here comes Nunu with a dive on Jinx. He's going to bring in the pain, and here comes a couple of people from FSU to lock down the Soraka. Ivern comes in to try to stop the, the pain from happening. They get the Ivern, they get the Jinx, they get the Soraka. No, yeah, they get Kale for Murray State takes Kale down. And then Malzahar takes down Twitch. And Nami getting himself a triple kill in the process while Ergot and Nunu push around in the middle lane. Yeah, I really thought FSU was going to win that fight. Uh, somehow, Malzahar with a triple kill there. Malzahar came out of nowhere. He's feeling pretty confident right now with that low HP bar, too. But, of course, there's really nothing that, that Nunu can do uh, if he, unless he wants to leave this full HP bar Ergot. And uh, he's not going to do that, so... While it did cost Murray State a lot of their Baron buff champions, uh, they still have two with it, and they're still pushing the lanes quite effectively. So, yeah, I, I'm not exactly sure where the, the tide turned, but like you said, I really thought FSU had that team fight as well. It was a great instigation, and everyone collapsed on time, but cleanup occurred. And now Murray State rotating to take another dragon. I'm not sure if FSU even knows this is happening. They do not currently. They probably have a pretty good idea. But they don't have any vision, as you can see. And they take another dragon. Murray State's lead is just starting to snowball there. Stealing that away from, from Nunu at this point. They come down, rotate three on one against Kale. Lock her down. They did it. And now they're just going to keep pushing these lands forward and keep all this vision away from, from FSU at any, any chance they get. They're feeling pretty confident here. They need to be making sure that they take these towers uh, and lock down the rest of the vision away from FSU. Nunu trying to defend against the Jinx and the Soraka down in the bot lane. Morgana's back in mid. And poor Ergot's just split pushing away all by himself, doing what an Ergot does. They're having to, to rotate everybody down to this bot lane to protect that tower, and they're just not able to dedicate any resources to the Malzahar or the Urgot right now. Yeah, we have a three-way split push here in all the lanes, and that's most likely because of the Baron buff that Murray State good, has. Good dodge by Malzahar, but he's going to get caught up by the Nunu, but rotation coming in from Murray State as they put the lockdown back on Nunu. They're here to protect that Malzahar. They've suppressed him. They're... They take out the Nunu, but they're taking a lot of damage here. Great turnaround. Wonderful. Malzahar takes out the Twitch, too. Ivern's wonderful little buddy eats up a lot of the damage. Uh, and they're able to just continue pushing the lane. That was a really good fight from Murray State. I 
I think they, they came back from that second match and uh, they looked and said, all right, here's where we messed up. We know we messed up. We've got to change it. And they've done it. You know, they're, they're rotating better. They're not fighting against Yorick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I'm, I'm liking this game for Murray State, mainly because they were losing at the very, very early stages of the game from all the new, new uh, snowballs. That's um, coming in right in. Yeah. Into, yeah, the transition into mid game was great for Murray State. And, um, they back so out. Yeah, the Malzahar is dominating this game for Murray State. Uh, it looked like Nunu might have gotten an air guard kill, but he was able to dash out in time. And then Malzahar came in and cleaned up. Uh, Nunu had to back out, but they still took out the Twitch and the Morgana. Nunu's back in it. They're still going after that Urgot. They take out the Nunu. Jinx is going AWOL here with her speed from kills, and they take out that first tower. This turret is more than likely going to go down, and with 10 That's seconds game. on the soonest, soonest respawn, that is game. Murray State takes the series 2-1 to one against Florida State. Um... So that's it. Great game. Wonderful comeback from Murray State. It did look like they were a little bit on the ropes in the early part, but they definitely seemed to, to, to make a change there, and, and it went for the better. So, yeah. Uh, what do you think? Uh, as I said before, it's great to see Murray State in that situation of like maybe four to zero or something like that at the very early stages of the game. Um, that's what they were doing to Marquette in our, in our last series. They would go, Murray State would go up 6 0 or 6 to 1 or 2, and then come mid game, Marquette would come back and roll over Murray State. Um, and so I truly believe from that last series, Murray State learned that, you know, if Murray, Marquette can make a comeback like that, maybe we can too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, I, and they definitely made that comeback. It was really good. Both teams played amazingly. I want to give a big thank you to, to both the Florida State Esports and Murray State Esports for being able to get together on such short notice, really. I think we put this game together in under 24 hours. Uh, same with the Marquette game. We put it in together in under 24 hours. But So even though Murray State did win this matchup, you have to remember this is going to be based off of the NCAA basketball brackets. So depending on how the Murray State Racers play against Florida in NCAA basketball in a few hours, that will decide who goes on. And I really hope that Florida is able, if, if Florida wins, I hope they, they carry this on. If we win, obviously we're going to be reaching out to the next team on the bracket uh, to try to do this again. So hopefully we'll see you guys there. And um, that's it from us again. Thanks. Thanks for Florida. Thanks to Murray state and everyone. Don't forget to go watch the basketball game. Cause that's the whole point. And we will see you guys next time.